My name is Eric Harris. I am the Press Secretary with the Religious Action Center of Reform Judaism, and this is the RAC's weekly legislative update for September 13th, 2010. Here we teach you about the hottest issues going through Congress today, and we give you the tools you need to take action. Women earn, on average, only 77 cents for every dollar men make, and victims of sex-based discrimination are not afforded the same legal recourse as victims of other forms of pay discrimination. The Paycheck Fairness Act, already passed by the House, would correct shortcomings in current civil rights law and protect against such discrimination. Join activists nationwide for a special call-in day, Wednesday, September 15th, to urge your senators to pass the Paycheck Fairness Act. Call 1-877-667-6650 and follow the directions to contact your senators. Find talking points on our website, or you can call our legislative assistant, Deborah Swerdlow, at 202-387-2800 for more information. More than 30 million students receive reduced cost or free lunches at school, while 10.6 million receive breakfast, meals they would otherwise go without. Unfortunately, only 2.1 million students received meals over the summer months when school was out. But hunger does not disappear or take a summer vacation. The Child Nutrition Reauthorization Act makes significant new investments in child nutrition programs, but action is needed now to ensure that the bill is passed. Urge your members of Congress to support increased funding for the important nutrition programs in the Child Nutrition Reauthorization Act of 2010. The Capitol Switchboard can be reached at 202-224-3121, or you can send an email using our website. In April, President Barack Obama and Russian President Dmitry Medvedev signed a new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, or START, that will reduce the number of deployed nuclear weapons in both countries. Now, the Senate must ratify it. This treaty is one of the most significant arms control agreements in the last two decades, representing a major step forward in the goals of advancing U.S. security and ridding the world of the threat of nuclear weapons. Urge your senators to support START treaty ratification to help bring about a world free of nuclear weapons. The Capitol switchboard can be reached at 202-224-3121, or you can send an email using our website. For more information, contact our legislative assistant, Solly Kane, at 202 387-2800.